All right, you guys, here is a guide using the King team for Kellic Hale. I do believe the melee team is a whole lot better and you will score a lot higher, but uh, this is the artifact set I'm using here. Uh, increased damage dealt by 5%. You can use the healing set if you need to, or the uh, reduced damage reset if you need to if you're taking too much, but I find this to be better. Um, for equipment, I am running... HP and defense on Gother, as you can see here. Then for Margaret, is attack and defense. Uh, crit's not going to work, you can't crit the boss. Attack and defense for King. HP defense for Droll. So like I said, you want that defense, I promise you. Then uh, ultimate gauge food, and uh, the missions are clear within 8 turns. Clear after doing 300,000 more in a single attack. Remove six debuffs using Purify, and have a giant on the team and have him finish. He needs to land a finishing blow. But we'll hop right in here, you guys. Your standard play is going to be this every turn. And uh, as for food, I find Ultimate Gauge food a whole lot easier. You can use HP food or attack food. But uh, this strat is highly dependent on getting ults. So I do believe Ultimate Gauge Food's better. I've done a lot of testing with both. But yeah, that's your standard play every turn. Um, now, second second turn, what you want to do is rush King Gold. And like I said, you do need to have King 4 out of 6 or higher for this. But rush his ult. Uh, I'm going to waste this card. I'm going to Pumpkin Bomb again to get points and to control Ultimate Gauge. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. We get him real close to about half health. There you go. Get some extra points. Control old. Now, I was hoping to get another rank up or another Margaret buff. As you can see here, I didn't get it. For King's ult to hit the 300,000 damage mark, it needs to be 6 out of 6. And you need to have a level 3 buff. So, as you can see here, I don't have it. So, I'm going to stall one more turn. See if I can't get it next turn. If not, then you're going to have to go ahead and use it. And hopefully you can get the 300,000 damage mark with Marg's ult in the next phase. So as you can see, pretty bad luck. Um, they didn't have it, but it's all good. Uh, we'll go ahead and just finish him off right here. We have to kill by turn 3. And we're on turn 3. So, I'm going to Pumpkin Bomb for a little extra points. Uh, just going to go ahead and waste all this here. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that will be set up to where uh, next turn we can merge right into a level 3 king. Or just move it to merge it. So there we go, there's phase 1 done. Okay, we did draw the extra Power Strike card. So I'm going to merge those together. I am going to use the Mark card. And I'm going to use this, because you want to get a level 3 buff as fast as possible. Really, you want to have one going into this stage. Otherwise, he will demolish you. And I promise you, he will demolish you. So, if I don't get it this turn, it's pretty much a dead run. But I do, as you can see here, even got an extra king. Looking very good now. This run went from looking really bad to it's looking really good, because I can get Margolt here. I'll have a good king shield. As you can see, that was a level 3 power strike shield. He blew through it and destroyed Gother. So, yeah. So here's the level 3. And then I have Margolt and I'm going to have King Golt. Got a level 2 power strike shield up. It's looking very good. How many ultimate gauge does this Droll need? Or does he have ultimate? We'll have to take a look. So I'd like to finish with his ult. Okay, he needs one, and we drew a droll card. Perfect. Now, we're going to be able to get the debuff removal mission right here. He just put four more on us. So, you can see why you want the Tarmiel link on Gother. You see how much he healed there. He seems to target Gother a lot. So here, I believe I'm going to rank everyone up. I'm going to use the king ult. To cleanse the debuffs and get a very good shield. And I'm going to use that to get Drill Ult. 
So there's the debuff mission. There is the 300,000 damage in a single attack mission. And I have drills out. We have everything we need right here to finish with a giant. Good, it didn't break the shield. Gother will be able to heal a little bit more now. Um, very good looking run. Turn 8. Want to finish within 8 turns and we're right here at it. So here I am going to... I got to make sure I don't kill with uh, anyone else than Droll. So I'm going to use this here. I'm going to use this pumpkin bomb to life steal a little. Then ult with Droll. Actually, no. I don't know if that will do enough damage. Make this, this, and then this. And then ult with Droll. And uh, you guys, like I said, this strategy took almost 200 some stamina pots. I've put 300 stamina pots into the, just this hell difficulty with all in between uh, melee and uh, king. I do believe the uh, melee team's better, but this will get you close to 9k. But there you go, you guys. If you have any questions, uh, hit me up, and I'd like to help you out.